Ivory Bill Woodpecker Is it extinct or not? Also known by the name Ampiphilius principalis, the Ivory Bill Woodpecker is America's most elusive and endangered bird. Despite the proposal by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service to remove the bird from the list of endangered birds, this has not taken effect due to a lack of convincing evidence that it ceased to exist. Efforts to find the bird in recent years have proven to be fruitless given the natural response to any human intrusion. The bird inhabits swampy habitats within inaccessible forests, making it almost impossible to capture one in a picture or video. That notwithstanding, the bird will resurface in this lifetime. About the Ivory Bill Woodpecker the ivory bill woodpecker is easily identifiable with both males and females being large woodpeckers. With a weighty and straight pale bill, the female, however, has a black crest whereas the male has a red one. Ideally, a male and a female work together while excavating holes and will use a new hole each year. The bird species were a common sight in the southern parts of the U.S. to Texas. They were regarded in the past as the largest woodpeckers in the U.S., Unfortunately, factors such as habitat loss, overhunting, and diseases led to a decline in their numbers in the 19th century. The bird was a common delicacy among humans at the time. What does the ivory bill woodpecker look like? Some of the defining attributes of the ivory bill woodpecker. They are found in old-growth river forests. Has a curved and pointed crest, males have a bright red crest and females have a black crest. They have a pale white bill. The main food is beetle larvae. Dark chin and face. It is large when compared to other birds. Measures 19 and a half inches in length. A signature white strip runs on both sides of the head and meets on his lower back. It has white secondary feathers that look like a white saddle on his solid colored black back. It has long tail feathers that converge at some point. Known for its loud tooting sound, often compared to a nuthatch, they make strong double or single rabs while pecking on trees. When was the ivory bill woodpecker last seen? There is a strong belief that the ivory bill woodpecker still exists in some parts of South America. A number of bird conservation experts and researchers have embarked on a serious expedition of searching for the bird species and some have raised hopes because of unproven sightings of the bird. The ivory bill was sighted in 2004 in eastern Arkansas forests, raising hope that the species could still be in existence despite the earlier declaration it was extinct. Since then, no substantial evidence has been put forth to prove the bird is still in existence. Equally, no solid proof has been put forth to prove the bird no longer exists. The early and widely accepted and documented sighting of the ivory bill woodpecker dates to the year 1938 when a photo was captured in northeast Louisiana. Other proven evidence of the bird's existence was captured in Cuba in 1948 with unofficial sightings in the same region, last reported in 1992. What led to the disappearance of the ivory woodpecker? A number of factors led to the loss of the ivory woodpecker between the years 1880 and 1910. The increased demand for forest products such as pine resulted in logging that decimated the bird's habitat. This species is a shy one also forced it to migrate to other exploited areas. As humans kept encroaching on their territories, the bird species kept declining. The introduction of some other species such as rats also led to a rapid decline in the ivory bill woodpecker population. Competition for food and space, especially the tree holes, made it impossible for the bird to survive. Other significant factors for its decline include climate change and avian malaria, which devastated bird populations in their habitats. 
With all these, the ivory bill woodpecker population rapidly declined and only a few survived until the 20th century. Habitat encroachment is the main cause of the decline in the bird population. Additionally, hunters and outdoor enthusiasts also played a key role in pushing the bird population further down. The main habitat for the bird species is cypress and pine trees, particularly dead pine trees. The fact that these trees are now scarce and rarely exist in the southeast of America certainly justifies the reason for the disappearance of the bird species. There is still hope. All hope is not lost even though it has proven to be almost impossible to capture the ivory bill woodpecker on a clear picture or video in the modern day. Scanty accounts point out that there might be a dozen of bird species still in existence in the US. The best way to encourage the bird to nest is through habitat preservation. Activities such as hiking, hunting, fishing, logging, and any form of intrusion or habitat destruction should be minimized within the preferred regions. That would encourage the Lord of the Woods to emerge and hopefully multiply. Conclusion the ivory billed woodpecker can be considered as lost, just like the other 24 bird species native to the Western Hemisphere. The ongoing search efforts for these rare bird species have reignited hopes that the ivory billed woodpecker might not really be extinct now, but rather critically endangered in all respects. Most scientists and researchers support the idea to carry out more searches for the bird and regard FWS's description of the bird as extinct as outright premature by all standards.